Hi everyone, so this is just a very quick Photoshop tutorial to show you how to create some symmetrical images. It's pretty straightforward, although I do appreciate that you're completely brand new to Photoshop, so might seem a little bit overwhelming at first. Uh, I'm working on the basis that you've managed to open one of your one-point perspective photographs in Photoshop. Um, and so once we got that open, there's really only three things that you need to know how to do in order to get some cool, unusual, symmetrical images playing around with one-point perspective. Uh, the first thing is how to duplicate a layer. Um, and that's quite straightforward. Over on the right hand side of your screen, you have your layers menu. Uh, you right click on that and you can go to duplicate layer. If you're a shortcutty sort of a person, you can also do it with control J. Um, so I click on duplicate layer um, and some options will come up and I'll just click OK. So now I've got two identical layers um, and um, they're one stacked on top of the other i can turn these little eyes on and off but i'm not going to see any kind of difference because these two images are identical uh, i lied when i said there was only three things you needed to know how to do I completely forgot the fourth thing you need to know how to do second in the process is how to um, flip an image horizontally or vertically. So if I go to edit and transform this layer and I'll click flip horizontal, which is down near the bottom, and that will create a mirror image. So now when I go over to these eyes on my layers menu, if I turn one off, the top layer off and on, I am going to see a difference. The, one, the top layers flip round. So we've got the two sides of a symmetrical image, but we can't see both of them at once. That's easy to sort. What we now need to do is create a, a new guide layout. And you can do this by going to the top of your screen and from your view menu, go to new guide layout. Um, so you get a whole bunch of different options here. All you need is to divide the image very simply in two. So if you make sure you have two columns and two rows and that you've deleted any uh, any numbers that are in the gutter, not gonna bother explaining what that is for now, it's probably not worth it. Uh, and so I've basically divided my image into four even sized squares and I'll click okay. Okay, so the final step of this process is to select this tool from your tools on the left-hand side. The second tool is called the Marquee Tool. And if I click and drag, so I'm clicking and dragging a box here, those guides should be quite nice and easy to snap to. You'll feel them snap. Uh, and so I draw that box and I let go. Uh, and now I've got two options i can either just hit delete but a slightly better option is to hit this little button at the bottom of your layers menu that looks a little bit like a japanese flag if you hit that button then i've created my symmetrical image um however i mean this looks really really cool um and uh if i go to view and um clear my guides that looks really 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 nice um but maybe i want to try it on the other side so perhaps the most useful shortcut on photoshop the most useful useful shortcut in almost any software you've ever used is Control z undo so i'll undo that a couple of times just to take me back to where i was and i'm going to draw um my box on this side of the grid uh, and then I'm going to hit um, the Japanese flag again, clear my guides, and now, oops, press the wrong button. I've got this kind of pretty cool, pretty creepy, pretty weird symmetrical image.